As mentioned in previous videos, we got our ply for free, and this was amazing, but there was one downside. It was caked in really thick glue. And I'm not talking about any old prick stick, I'm talking about serious alien snot. This stuff was on hard. We tried a number of different ways to get it off, but let's say we learned from our mistakes. In the end, we used chisels and just a few knives and eventually it came off. Anyway, you've probably clicked on this video to see how to profile. So we're not gonna bore you with us pulling off glue off eight sheets of ply. That would just be horrendous. So let's get into how to profile. So the first thing we did was bring in a ply sheet. We laid it flat on the floor and then butted it up to the right hand side as far as we could. Then with a tape measure we measured from the metal at the front of the van to the back bottom bit of the ply. We did this on both sides just to make sure it was in square. After this, I grabbed my pencil and I marked where I was going to be cutting the ply to its final length. There's a few different ways of doing this. This is the method we've chosen. So the first thing you want to do is get a straight edge. You want to start off with it in the most deepest part of the groove or the most inward point which is here. As this is the most inward point, it means it doesn't need cutting, so you can put your pencil on the very edge of the ply. Once you've got your pencil positioned on your straight edge, don't move it from there. All you want to do then is move the straight edge along the contours. I went over the same sections two or three times and then found the most prominent pencil mark, and then I went over it with pen, just so it's clearer to see where you're cutting. Next, we took the ply sheet out and it was on to cutting. I first of all cut it down to size so it wasn't hanging out the door. This just made it a little bit easier to handle and it wasn't as big to lug around. Next was just taking time to go around all the curves or mouldings. After this, we brought the ply back into the van to see how well it would fit. However, unfortunately, I found a little problem. When I was cutting the length down of the ply, I basically went to the edge of the floor of the van, the sheet metal. I didn't take into consideration when the door was shut, so it left me with a massive gap. It was a bit frustrating, but nonetheless, I learnt from my mistakes and I know not to do it again. I continued with the same bit of ply to work on the shape of the mouldings. So this didn't quite fit, so I just took a pen and marked out little bits to snip away at. I did this process a few times of bringing it in and out of the van and getting it just right. After taking my time and making minor adjustments, I was happy with the result. Then, the old sheet which I'd cut wrong, I placed on top of a brand new sheet. Then used it as a stencil to mark where I was cutting onto the new sheet. After marking, it was back to cutting, again. So, my younger brother, Rat, or formerly known as Ash, started cutting the mouldings and did a really good job. This time cutting the ply, I made sure that I had a little bit extra on the edge so I could do micro adjustments and get it down to the right size properly. So here we have it back in the van. Where I'm pointing, you can see that the door won't quite shut. And this is for good. So I can just take slithers off and get it so it's really nice and tight. For micro adjustments, I found this to be the best way. I just simply used a jigsaw and went down the side of the ply, taking off little bits
This method worked really, really well. After a while, the door would shut really nicely. It wasn't so tight that it was pressing on the seal and it was pushed up against the metal, but it wasn't too loose that it was allowing a massive gap. I think it was about a five mil gap in the end. Something to be mindful of are the door seals. Just make sure when you've put your floor in, the wood isn't pressing up against them, as this could lead to letting moisture in and damaging the seal. This is basically the exact same process, and I'm gonna be reiterating myself a lot, but hopefully from different camera angles or different perspective, you can understand it a bit better. Make sure your ply is where you want it. I made sure ours was butted up to the next piece, nice and tight. Once again, we start at the most inward point and we work around the wheel arch. Again, once your pencil is in the position where it is on the straight edge, don't move it. You wanna move the pencil and the straight edge together. So I've done it once and now I'm doing it a second time to make sure my mark is nice and visible. Once you get to the middle of the most prominent point, which is here, you want to put the pencil on the other side so when you go around corners like this, the pencil is in line with where the straight edge is touching. Just like before, I went over and marked everything with a pen, so the line was much more visible for when it came to cutting. After repeating the exact same process on the other side, you should have something that looks like this. So there's one piece of ply overlapping the other. Then I took my pen and I went down the edge of one of them so I knew where I was cutting, lifted it up, and then I know where my rough area is. Had a quick zip with the saw to cut it off, then brought everything back in just to check that it was all square, level, and flat. It all looked really good. So now we know that it all fits, it was time to pull it back up and fit our aluminium tape, which you can check out in a different video, which is called insulating your floor and you can check this video out on our channel so we have now finished putting down the aluminium tape over everything um, it's gone really well um, so the next thing to do is put down our floor now with our floor we have using ply um, and I mentioned in a previous video that basically a friend gave us loads of ply um, it's all six mil so when it came to the profiling, we did um, we basically profiled the first sheet and then we duplicated it, so we put it on top of the other one, traced around it and um, so yeah, we've got basically two sheets on top of each other and making 12 mil. This was the most satisfying part. We had done all of the pre-cutting and put down our aluminium tape, so now it was a case of just fitting everything in where it should go. So basically what we've done here, we have just quickly measured across so we know where our battens are. Um, we've written all the measurements going across, so now we're just going to drill a pilot, screw straight in, and then we'll have, um, yeah, all the beams covered and these will be stuck down nice and firm. And this was the end result. Everything went down really well, everything fitted, which was great. So yeah, it just took a bit of time, bit of care, and we got it sorted. I'm gonna always keep these parts of the video really short. Unless you guys say otherwise, then I'll extend them and keep rabbiting on, but um, I'll keep it short for now. Um, anyway, yeah, I think, uh, Profiling comes down to three things. First of all is time, and that's just having a good amount of time where you're not worrying, you're not stressing out that you've got to get it done in a certain number of days or a number of hours or anything like that. 
Um, so first of all, just have time. That's a really important one. Second one, I think, is self-confidence. And if you do make a mistake, don't beat yourself up because we all do it. We all, like, as soon as we do something wrong, we're like, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. And, uh, and it can really weigh you down. So don't do that because a man that doesn't make mistakes doesn't make anything. Um, and if when we make mistakes, you know, we learn. We learn through making mistakes and that's huge. That's really important. So that's really important. Just, it doesn't matter. Mistakes were made. We all, we're all human. Um, and the third one, I think, is just micro adjustments. So, you know, if you, example, putting it next to your wheel arch, um, or the casing around and the inside of the wheel, um, put it in, it doesn't fit, take it out, take a tiny bit off, put it back in, doesn't fit, take it back out, and just constantly do that. Um, because you can always take wood off, you can't add wood back on once you've done a mistake. Um, so yeah, my grandpa always used to say, measure twice, cut once, um, and it works. It's just, yeah, taking your time and yeah, going for it. So anyway, thank you for joining us. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing our videos, if you have, um, and if not, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And for now, it's goodbye but hopefully all your conversions go really well and if you're profiling, good luck.